it's four o'clock and so far today I have been busy um, getting work stuff done because uh, I need to plan the Christmas Eve service. I know I took a bit of an easier day yesterday to feel better and I do. I'm still very bunged up though and I've just dropped carrots on the floor. Score! Say Stewie and Sheldon. Um, yeah, so I'm making stew here by the way. Um, Yes, I've been working, getting ready for Christmas Eve service and stuff is the general gist of that. And then I filmed um, some stuff for Jo for whatever this is. If you don't know Jo, I'll put her link in the description. And uh, you can check her out. She does uh, kind of like thoughts uh, for the day type things, really. It's, and it's based on scripture as well. It's like telling stories or whatever and uh, trying to help people think about faith and elements of faith and all that sort of stuff. So I did one for Joe today because she's not been well. And it doesn't sound ironic because I'm not well either. <laughs> but anyway, no, I um, was pleased and honoured to help her out. Let's turn that fan off for a minute. Um, and then, just there now, the auto glass man came and he looked at my car because you know the way I saw that little um, crack in my windscreen? He came and he had a look at it and he says, oh, this looks like uh, something that's been there for a while that somebody else has filled in before. How long have you had the car? I said, well, it's just about two months now. And I was like, oh, all right, okay. Well, it looks like, you know, someone's dealt with this before, but it just hasn't filled into the cracks properly. Um, he said he could fill it in, but it might not make much difference. And he imagines I'll be fine without filling it in. So, and even if I did, um, you know, I'll have to pay my, if I did let him do it, I'd probably have to pay the excess to fix things sooner rather than later anyway and um, so yeah he said look just leave it and then call us again if it if it cracks even further or whatever and we'll look into it then so I was like okay fine that's good it's all good and then his words not mine he said you know though not to sound stupid but it's in a crack and we place that crack <laughs> oh it makes me so happy but anyway yeah right now I'm making some stew I'm just checking in my veggies and things and uh, about to pour in the stock and let it all stew for a couple of hours. This is Irish stew, um, which a lot of people will know about, but there's a recipe on my food blog, which I might try and remember to put the link to in the description as well. So if you want to make that, go for it. I think after I make this though, I'm going to have my very, very late lunch because I haven't been hungry all day until now. Um, and that microwave is telling me, your lunch is ready! And uh, I'll curl up on the sofa for a wee bit with the dogs. So I think that's a nice wee plan before I go out to work again tonight. So I forgot to show you how far I got with my stable, <laughs> with my nativity scene. I've just got a, well, a stable and a, a cow with a star on top. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so um, lots more to be done. But that, that, all that is, took me about an hour last night and I thought, ugh. I'm just going to take my time over this and try to enjoy it because it could have taken me hours to do Mary and Joseph and a baby Jesus and three shepherds and three wise men and sheep and a donkey as well. So that will wait. We'll get it done. It'll happen. This is me doing one final thing before I go to work tonight. This is marzipan. Stop licking my hand, you. It's all covered in icing sugar and your saliva. I'm going to have to wash my hands again. And uh, I'm going to put it onto my Christmas cake. Yay! Because ideally, according to Delia and all hail Queen Delia, um, you're supposed to marzipan your Christmas cake two weeks before Christmas and then add the icing one week before Christmas. I slightly forgot that. So we're going to do the marzipan six days before Christmas and icing three days before Christmas. I'm sure it'll be fine. It might not be up to daily standards, but it will taste delicious nonetheless. So, let's marzipan this up. Et voila! A marzipan Christmas cake. Yay, ready for being iced in three days' time. It's a little bit lumpy and bumpy on the top, but the icing will fix that. So, yay!